Your different is beautiful. And your superpowers are unique to you, divinely appointed and gifted in you as you to be brought to life as love itself. This, my friends, is what I believe to be a spiritual truth, a spiritual law, as a matter of fact. And this work of discovering and making friends with your true holy nature is the spiritual work that the world is demanding of you and I. The circumstances of our planet, the circumstances of this country in America where I am recording, the circumstances of humanity, the circumstances of nature and creatures and life is demanding you to show up wholly, unapologetically, authentically, uniquely as your divine nature. This is the work that is the work of our lives. I do not believe there is anything more important to be gathering our resources, our time and our energy and our attention our mindfulness, our awareness, our consciousness around. I know so many of us are wrestling and trying to reconcile the despair because of the world circumstances, because of the life circumstances, because of political and all the things. Many of you are struggling with just figuring out how to get your bills paid, how to make rent, how to feed your family how to show up to your job that you may not love and do what needs to be done to simply survive. And I want to tell you that the, the peace you seek, the longing for something better that you seek for yourself, for your family, for your kids, for your legacy, for the world, that longing can only be met through your own nature. Those changes you want to see truly begin in you. They begin in honoring, regardless of outer circumstances, honoring and listening to the divine intelligence that has all the answers you seek. And the listening must be turned inward. And you know, you've, if you've been with me before, you know that I talk a lot about the noise of the world. And my friends, the noise is only getting noisier. And I don't imagine that is going to change in our lifetime. The antidote to the outer noise, the antidote to all that seems to be completely out of hand, lies in this listening, the inward listening, this access that you have that I promise you have within you. It lies in the practices of finding that your different is beautiful. Whether your difference is being attacked in legislation right now, whether your difference is being <sighs> ostracized in your family, your different is beautiful and divinely appointed and needed. If there is nothing else you hear in this time that you and I have set aside to be together, is I want you to hear that your different is beautiful and needed. <laughs>